So apparently in Fox News, this story, uh, Bob Woodward has published this story and also apparently had uh, gotten some uh, audio tapes to back this up. In 2011, a Fox News analyst named Kathleen McFarlane went to Afghanistan. She is an analyst, I guess, on security issues. And it sounds like she was doing an interview with Petraeus. Maybe for a story. Maybe on video. Certainly, it was audio taped. Uh, They did about a 90-minute unfiltered conversation with Petraeus that touched on the general's future. And at the end of the conversation that apparently was recorded, the Fox News national security analyst and former national security and Pentagon aide in three Republican administrations had a message for General Petraeus. And that message was, hey, you should run for president. And not just, hey, you should run for president, but Roger Ailes says you should run for president. And not just, hey, Roger Ailes says you should run for president, Roger Ailes says he will quit and become your campaign manager. And not just, you should become, uh, he'll become your campaign manager, but Rupert Murdoch will finance your entire campaign. And you should also not take the CIA job. You should demand the Joint Chiefs of Staff job, and when he's rejected, that will give you a good predicate for running. Here's that audio, part one now. The other thing which is directly advice to you from Roger Ailes is... Do you want us to leave, sir? (laughs) (laughs) I'm not running. And and that's not the question Uh, at uh, this point. He says that if you're... I'm not running. That's not the question at this time. Now... I'm going to guess Petraeus probably knew that he was not in a position necessarily to run. There could be some skeletons in his closet. Continue. If you're offered chairman, take it. If you're offered anything else, don't take it. Resign in six months and run for president. Okay? And I know you're not running for president, but at some point when you go to New York next, you may want to just chat with Roger and and Rupert for that matter. Well, Rupert's after me. Um, okay. Look, I, you know, what I want to do right now is say, well, it's been great to serve. And, you know, I, and then you come to Fox, and then we all sign up. <laughs> no, but I mean, can I just say that, can I just tell them that what I've suggested and that we've discussed is yeah, that sure. next time you go to New York, you're going to stop I'd by I would love to okay. see him. Okay. Yep, yep. No, I haven't seen him in a while, so. He, I think he would very uh-huh. much appreciate no, the I'd love to conversation. See him. It's just fascinating to see how that goes, right? Uh, and at one point, I think, in the conversation, she also says, hey, is there anything that we should be doing differently at Fox? Let's listen to the rest of the conversation. Tell him if I ever ran, okay. but I won't. <laughs> okay, I know, I know. If I ever I ran, I'd take him up on his offer. Okay. All right. He but said he would quit Fox. I know. I know. He's, look, he's not the and, only one. And bankroll it. Bankroll it? <laughs> or maybe I'm confusing that with Rupert. No. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, I know Roger's, you know, it's, he's done okay, but. <laughs> no, I think the one who's bankrolling it is the big boss. That, that, that okay. The big boss, boss is bankrolling it. Roger's going to run it, and the rest of us are going to be your in house. Yeah, right. Okay. We're all set. We got the poster on. It's never going to happen. No, I know. Happen. I know. It's really never going to happen. My wife would divorce me. Right. Uh, I love my house. Tell her it's a beautiful house. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes, his wife would divorce him if he ran for president. I wonder why that might be. Hmm. So, uh, General Petraeus, it just gives you a sense of uh, what's going on at Fox. You know, they uh, supposedly are a, um, a wing of the Republican Party or the uh, propaganda wing of the Republican Party. And I don't see how you could actually even walk away with that conversation without totally believing that. 